Psalm 24 verse 6 says this. This is Jacob. This is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. And then the psalmist goes on to say, Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. And then it goes on to say how he's manifesting as a warrior. He will fight the battles for you. When you make room for the King, when you seek his face, when you prioritize prayer and worship and have a heart to love him and pursue him, the door of glory is opening to you like never before. Traditionally, worship is viewed as a, an activity of a one-way direction of our worship and adoration to God, where the highest purpose of worship is, is that we would just love, worship, and honor Him. And it has this like one singular direction, Prophetic worship is two-way. Prophetic worship is encounter. And you carry the heart of encounter on your worship. And because you carry a heart to encounter God, you are going to know what it means that the King of glory is entering in. See, when Jesus said to the Laodicean church in Revelation in chapter 3, and He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock he was talking to his church. He was talking to his church. I, I grew up in generations of traditional but Jesus-loving Christians and uh, we had prints of paintings and um, calendars and things, of those old paintings of Jesus. And one of them was Jesus standing at the door and knocking. And it was that olden style painting where you have a very somber almost mystical-looking, serious Jesus and uh, looking as he did in the Gospels, perhaps with his robes on, knocking at the door. But the Jesus that's knocking at the door of the church in Revelation, the one that John encounters, the one who's speaking, is the King of glory. And John says in Revelation in chapter 1 that Jesus when he saw him and his eyes were blazing fire, and when he spoke, it was like the sound of rushing waters. He said he fell as dead at his feet. This is the King of glory. And there is coming into your worship, building on the sense of wonder that you already have. You are going to know significant moments of awe where you will know the King of glory has entered in. And as you are faithful to seek his face, that doorway is going to impact the other doorways. Opportunity, eternity, Jesus said to that church in Philadelphia, the church of the open door, he said, even your enemies will come and fall at your feet and acknowledge that I have loved you. There are people that have turned from God. There are prodigals. There are people connected to you, family members, people that are on your heart that have gone away from God. There are people out there in the community that are negative, that hate the church that have set themselves up in opposition. And this is the word of the Lord. They are going to come in and they will fall at Jesus' feet and they will know His love because you have opened the door and the King of glory is in the house. 